Uh, let's talk for just a moment. You build a lot of racing and competition engines, and clearances and tolerances are absolutely critical. Balancing, we talked about. We walked through the shop. We talked about the balancer, and each engine has its own balancing characteristics. Of course, you get a very forgiving uh, approach with the uh, inline six. Uh, it's inherently balanced at uh, given harmonics and so on, so it's an easier engine once it is balanced to keep smooth. Sure. But we're looking here at forged pistons, and it raises a question for me as an assembly guy and a guy who has built quite a few engines myself. What are you running for piston clearances, and why do you do that? Well, what we do, Moses, is the way most piston, 99% of the piston manufacturers out there do things, is they build the clearance that they want into the piston. So, in other words, Say, for example, we'll use some real nominal numbers because these boards are 3875, which makes things a little difficult. But let's say if you have a four inch bore engine and you bore 30,000, so the bore would be 4030. Well, the piston manufacturer on a cast piston would probably make that about 4028 skirt size. The forged piston guy would make it 4026 to 4027, so that there would be three to four thousandths clearance built into the forged piston, about a thousand and a half to two thousandths clearance built into the cast piston. The reason for the difference in clearances is cast pistons don't grow as much when they get warm as a forged piston does. Right. It's just because, as you well know, because of the way the alloys are. So what we do is, on every engine we build here, and I don't care if it's a stock motor to the blown most biggest, baddest engine we do, we measure every piston, and we measure all the way down the skirt. We measure from here all the way down. And then the piston manufacturer will give you what their area where they want you to measure to set the clearance at. But I always check them, because what if one got dropped? You know, there, I've had, oh, probably in the years I've been doing this, I've probably had 10 pistons that they measure perfect right there, but right there they're 5,000 small because it got dropped or it got mishandled or something. So we're very, we're very you know, detail-oriented that we measure all the pistons from, from here all the way down, and then we set the clearance according. Like this particular block here, and it's, it's, no, it's no fault, it's just how, how the mass runs run. The number one piston on this engine is 1,000 smaller at the at the measure point than the other five. So we made this bore 1,000 smaller than the other five, so that it still has the proper piston to wall clearance. Which on this particular one we set it at 2,000. Okay, the coated pistons can run a little tighter. Our normal cast pistons, I'd probably run it at two and a half, which is looser than what they recommend. But because of the differences in temperature, you know, we get, as you well know, Moses, we get mornings that are 10 below zero, and we get summers that are 110 degrees. And and if you have it just a tick looser, it will not, it'll handle way more abuse and the differences in temperature than if it's a little so tight. If it's a little tight, it grabs the skirt and causes engine damage, and the engine won't last as long and won't perform as well as you well know. So. Like I say, a cast piston a little less, the forged piston a little more. Now there again, we go through and we'll measure every journal on the crank. And then we've, we've precision machined every housing bore on the rod. And we've precision, precision machined every housing bore on the block. So that, so that we know what clearance is on every single main bearing, on every single rod bearing, so that when we put this together, we know it'll last a long time. A typical street engine, you know, that isn't a bit higher RPM deal, we'll run the clearance no tighter, absolutely no tighter on the rods to a thou eight to two and a half thousandths. We like to see it two to two thousandths to two and two tenths. On the mains, I like to see two, two to two five. This particular one is two one on the rod and it's two four on the main. So we're real happy with that one. That one came out at two one on the rod and two five on the main. So they both came out real great. That, that'll last a long time. You can run any kind of engine oil you want. You can run regular style engine oil, you can run synthetic. The clearances are right in the area that will handle that. It'll handle 10 below zero and it'll handle 110 degrees also. So there's tons of shops that can hone rods and grind cranks and hone blocks and all that kind of stuff, but it's the time that you take and the attention to detail that you take in checking all the clearances and the variables that you have to work with to make sure that it all comes together properly so the guy has a real reliable motor. You know, something like that, that has 7,000 piston to wall clearance because it's gonna see some extreme duty and it has 4,000 clearance on the mains and three and a half thousandths on the rods. But that motor, you know, that motor will make 1,400 horsepower too. And, 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 and it's 50 weight oil. Yeah, and it has 50 weight oil and because, because it needs the oil for the type of engine it is, because the load and because it's, run, it's fuel injected, on, mechanically fuel injected on alcohol, the alcohol will thin that oil pretty quick too. Okay, so, well. you know, he's a every race look at the bearings kind of deal. That's why that has a two-piece oil pan on it so you can take the oil pan off.